The final round of the 2016 Australian Men's Interstate Teams matches. Queensland needing to beat Northern Territory to advance to the championship final against New South Wales. We teed off the 10th. This was the fourth hole on the course, the 13th of the match. Brad Stankovic for Northern Territory. This was the first game out, the number seven game. Stephen Cox was two down after nine holes. Won three of the first four holes on the back nine to take a one-up lead, including that nice birdie on the par three four. He's kept that lead, one up playing the last. Stankovic found trouble through the green on, on the par five ninth. He conceded the match to Stephen Cox, the winner, two up. The number six game, Rex Williamson. For the Northern Territory. He too built an early lead. He was one up after nine holes. But Doug Klein produced the goods down the stretch to win three and two. Charlie Dan for Queensland here at the fourth. He was three up at the turn. Had built that lead to four by the time they reached the 13th hole of the match. He was playing Lee Shack Lady. Charlie would close it out with a 5-4 win and was the only undefeated player across all the teams at this year's series. In the number four game, Shea Walls Cobb before Queensland. That was an early pass save, kept him all square. And this is from the textbook of how to play match play. Holds it from the bunker for a birdie at the fourth. Thinks he's going to win the hole to take a one-up lead. But no, Karen Heaver matches that birdie, halved in twos at the tricky par 3 fourth. But Shay did take this yeah, match well, out, job, took a few extra holes, like got to the eighth, that's the 17th of the match. Two and one victory for Shay Walls Cobb. And that's four wins already for Queensland. Mitch Smith has had a good week. This was his tee shot to the 11th, a 204 metre par 3. He was playing Mitch Gridley. It was the Battle of the Mitches who played this nice chip shot to the par three fourth hole. But it was the other Mitch, Mitch Smith for Queensland, that would take it out. Five and three. In the number two game, Robert Miller for the Northern Territory didn't take advantage of his opportunities early on in this match. It was all square after nine holes against Queensland's Charlie Pillen. Charlie then won the 10th, 11th and 12th holes of the match. That was his tee shot to the 4th, 13th of the match. It was another conceded birdie. Four holes in a row he won and would go on and take the match at 5 and 4. Six wins now for Queensland. One final match. This was the number one encounter. George Worrell made that putt for par on the 11th. Blake Proverbs reached the par 5 16th in two. That was an eagle try, just burning the front edge. That hole was halved in birdies. New South Wales guys coming out to prepare for their uh, final, a quick scouting of the course. This was the fourth hole, Blake Proverbs playing a nice bunker shot. The game's still all square. This was a really tight contest. He managed to take a one-up lead but this was Worrell with a long birdie try at the 7th, the 16th of the match to square it up. They both had birdie opportunities at the final hole to take the match, but neither was able to convert. Finished all square. Queensland 6.5 to a half winners over Northern Territory and have booked themselves a spot in the championship final.